where do we come from, what are we, and where are we going? That pretty much encapsulates all of human existence in a philosophical statement, or, well, it encapsulates this painting. Now, in terms of interpretation, this piece is a little bit difficult, but we will get to it. In terms of color, we see Gauguin using that same expressive color scheme. We see the use of golds, skin tones, blues, and that leads us to where this is happening. This is in the South Pacific. Now, Gauguin has gone there for the specific purpose of finding a more primitive people. He wants to find a more pure people, but in 1897, that's kind of tricky. The West has colonized most of those civilizations. So what we see instead is something that becomes more of an ethnographic study. And what do I mean? Well, we get a sense of a specific kind of people, as if he's trying to capture their physical reality. For example, the statue tells us immediately that we're in a pagan area, an area that hasn't been quote-unquote civilized by Christianity. We have the girl with the apple, very representative or very uh, reflective of the idea of Eve and the apple, as if these people are actively eating the apple, discovering their nakedness, and somehow becoming less primitive. And then we see the women here who are in part dressed and in part topless, giving us again that sense of a primitive, innocent nature. And this is what he's looking for, this primitive, innocent humanity. Now, he's also looking for a vacation where he can spread STDs, but that's a whole different story that happens on exactly this island. Instead, what he's doing is he's seeking that pure civilization. He wants to get away from Western culture and capture that primitive nature of man. Now, arguably, he kind of did that in the last work. But here, he's doing it in a different way. He's using those flat or fairly flat planes of color once again. He's using color to give us a sense of these people. For example, the ones with uh, sort of a gold skin tone would seem to be more primitive. Whereas as the skin tone darkens, they start to dress. They start to dress as Westerners. So things are changing. He's capturing that change from a quote-unquote primitive society to a quote-unquote civilized society. The background is supposed to give us this idea of paradise, the idea of people who have not been touched by Western hands. Of course, we know that that's not actually the case. And the child in yellow or this yellow tone is giving us that idea of people who are changing because this child obviously has innocence. It's only a child. The apple, by the way, turns up again with this figure in the foreground reaching up and grabbing the apple as if he's Adam and this is somehow Eve uh, eating the forbidden fruit, discovering civilization and society and things breaking down as we progress. After all, this figure seems to be uh, hard pressed or having a difficult time coming to terms with all of the change that must be happening at the time. 